Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is of course Constantine and today in the world of indie gaming we're going to be checking out a game called Encodia. And I gotta tell you guys, I am really excited about this new point and click adventure game because we're going to be jumping into a dystopian Neo Berlin 2062 cyberpunk world that's going to look absolutely amazing. From what I've seen from the gameplays provided by developers, uh, this is definitely the type of game up my alley of course. Now in this game, we're going to be playing as Tina and her friend, Sam, a robot, that are going to be on a mission to save the world, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really know much about the storyline here, and I didn't really want it to get more information about it, because I don't want to spoil this for myself. I want to start this uh, from the scratch, explore the world, and have a lot of fun with this, of course. And I'm hoping that you guys are going to enjoy this one as much as I am. And of course, if you do, a link will be down in the description if you want to grab this game for yourselves, as it has just been released. And before we jump into the gameplay here, I just wanted to take a quick moment to thank developers for providing a copy of this game to share with you all and also provide my honest opinion about it. But uh, by the looks of it, I'm pretty sure I'm going to really, really enjoy this one. So without further ado, guys, sit back, relax, and uh, let's just dive into a new adventure game here and uh, see what this game is all about. Alright, please choose a difficulty level. Easy. Are you here mostly for story? We love that. So if you get stuck, Tina can uh, can ask Sam for hints to solve some of the puzzles. And pressing spacebar will highlight collectible items. Uh, you think you do not need any hints? Excellent. Sam won't be able to give you out any hints. And you're on your own, finding even the toughest collectible items. Make sure you search every nook and cranny on, of every location. Now, I do consider myself a hardcore point-and-click adventure game player. Uh, but sometimes, puzzle might be really, really difficult. I'm not quite sure exactly what difficulty to go with here, so... I think I'm just gonna go with hard. You know what, I feel like I am gonna be able to do this one. So uh, let's just go with hard, and see what it's all about. Neil Berlin, 2062. A dark megalopolis run by corporations and corrupt politicians. Nine-year-old orphan Tina has made the streets her home. She scavenges for a living, inventing new uses for scraps. Her only friend is SAM-53, the big clumsy robot assigned to her at birth. He will do anything to protect her. SAM-53 must protect Tina. Today, Tina and Sam will discover something that may change their world. Get a free robot. A forgotten dream a that will set them on an incredible journey. The journey to... Good morning, Tina. Today's forecast is a high of 7 degrees Celsius and cloudy, with 0% chance of rain during the day and 73% chance of rain in the evening. Would you like to hear the news? Morning, Sam. I have printed out today's to-do list. Would you like to go over it? Yeah, yeah, sure. For today, we need to procure the following. Oil for Sam 53, a new pair of socks and food for you, and a waterproof patch for our shelter. All right then, let's get going. All right, everybody, look at that. Man, I am in love with the look of the game. This is just gorgeous. Look at this. And everything just moves so smoothly. I really, really love this. So in this game, we're going to be playing as Tina, a 9-year-old orphan, and her robot, Sam53 here. Uh, I guess he's called SAM, but uh, I think I'm going to call him Sam53, though. Uh, so we do have a to-do list by the looks of it. Hold up, can I actually check the to-do list? Oh, this is a to-do list. Uh, let me check it. It's a list of the tasks for today. Oh, hold up. I want to look at it some more. It's a list of the Pair of socks, robot today. oil, waterproof patch, and it's a list the foods. Interesting. 
I'm really loving it that the characters have voices though. This is definitely a great way to connect to them. Photo of Ma, sadly. Huh. She died three years ago of cyberspace overdose. Oh god. Alright, well the story is definitely gonna be a little bit uh, sad though. Oh, so this is gonna be the map. Uh, so currently we know about the shelter. This is gonna be our home, I guess. Uh, we have the crossroad and we have the historical quarter. Interesting. Alright, let's see here. So, um, let's go looking for stuff, I guess. I don't know. I see that we have a rusty wrench over here. Now, keep in mind, I did disable the uh, hint and everything in the game because I chose hard mode, uh, which means this may actually be a little bit difficult uh, to figure out, but I will try to spot everything there is to spot. And I'm pretty sure we got this. Let me go ahead and grab that empty jar as well. As you guys know, when you're playing uh, point and click adventure games, you gotta look at every single corner, nook and cranny, and try to discover everything there is. Let me grab the teddy bear as well. I don't need it. Oh, she doesn't need it. My old teddy bear. It's so dirty now. <laughs> Man, but I'm loving the voice though. That's so good. Really, really well made so far. What about supplies? Can I look? Can I search through the supplies? Bunch of useful things I've collected. Hmm. All right, but apparently I'm not grabbing anything. What about the power box? Let's check that out. We are getting electricity from that neon sign. Ah, oh, that is awesome. All right, and other than this, I don't think we have anything. If I'm not mistaken, if I press on tab, we can actually control every single character. Look at this. I um, mean, I love it that we can do this, though. I love it that we can control every single character. And the inventory is split between them, apparently. Actually, no, it's uh, it's combined. The inventory is combined. All right, let me play with uh, our character here, our little girl, Tina, and see what else we can find. So we do have a small pipe. Let me grab that one. There we go. That is awesome. Uh, can I look at that sign floating around? No. Man, but the world though, this looks amazing. I mean, this cyberpunk world is absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, Cyberpunk 2077 has been a complete fail. Uh, but I haven't tested it out, but the reviews have been really, really bad. Uh, I'm not really interested in playing that game though, but uh, the look of the game is really amazing. If you do ignore all the bugs and everything. Uh, you know what, let me switch to Sam here and try to interact with that pole. High voltage power line. High voltage power line. I mean, I don't see any options in order to do anything with it, so I'm not gonna even bother. Alright, in that case, let me see if I can do anything with the tank. tank. Oh, so this is the water tank. So maybe I'm gonna need something to get some water out of it. Let's see, what if I use the jar with it? Can I? Uh, with this? Work. What if I combine these two together? Nope. No. Hm. Alright, in that case, let me make my way uh, down the street level. Alright, there we go. Uh, we got Eku. Hmm. Let's chat with them. Excuse me. Uh, uh, yes? Uh, who are you and what are you doing here? Am I safe talking with someone so sketchy who lurks in the shadows? <laughs> Let's go with the first one. Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm Eku, but don't tell my name to the police. At night, I'm a professor at the University of Neo Berlin. But since the salary is very low, during the day, I... Oh, well, I'm a dealer. An unauthorized <laughs> cyber dealer. Alright, buddy. Hmm. Why are they paying you so little at the university? Um, what are you selling? What do you do? What do you teach, actually? Sounds cool, but I should go. Uh, let me go with... What are you selling? What are you selling? Parts and ends, implants, gadgets, electronic components, and so on. Any food? Robot oil? Socks? A waterproof patch? <laughs> nope, sorry. Nothing like that. Damn. Hmm. This guy kinda speaks a little bit weird. Uh, why are they paying you so little? Let's why go with that. Why are they paying you so little at the university? Because Mr. Rumpf, the mayor of the city, doesn't care about education. That corrupt bastard. I hope he won't be re-elected. Me too. <laughs> This guy kind of talks really weird. Hold up, guys. Let me lower down the music volume for a second here. If I can, I I cannot. All right. Anyway, uh, let me chat with them, and then I'm gonna go with that. Uh, what do you teach? What do you teach? I'm a robotics professor. I teach design and fabrication of flexible-use small-scale bots. Sounds nice. 
Sounds cool, but I should go now. All right, take care. All right, buddy. Uh, let me go ahead and edit the music here. Hold up. So I did lower down the music volume just a little bit, just because it was way, way too loud. And now we can focus on the game. Uh, trash. Let's check that out. A bunch of junk. Do I need it though? Oh, I need it. Nice. There's some rotten sushi and a broken floppy in here. <laughs> All right. I guess uh, we got two new items. Again, when you're playing point and click adventure games, some of the items that you are grabbing, on some of them at least, uh, they're not going to be useful to you. You're not going to be able to do anything with them. Uh, but for now, let me look at the panel box. An electric panel. It's stuck. I need a key. Ah, what if I try to use a robot? Is he going to be able to open it up? I cannot damage public property. <laughs> Dang it, he could, but he doesn't want to. Alright, let me grab the antenna piece then. I do see an antenna right here. I love it that the elements in the world, they're not really highlighted that well. And you can easily just uh, walk past them if you don't pay attention. Uh, rump poster. Let's check it out. I hate that chubby little man. <laughs> this chubby little man looks like Trump though. <laughs> Alright, so we got that. I think we are done. Let me keep on going to New Berlin. Oh, all right. So next up, I think we're gonna have to make my way to maybe the crossroads. Need a bus ticket to leave this place. I oh. found one last night, and I was sure I left it by my pillow, but it's not there anymore. It must be somewhere nearby. Better look for it. Interesting. So I feel like we are not gonna be able to leave this place until I find the ticket. The question is, where could the ticket be? Uh, let me see here, though. Let me try to look around with the robot. Maybe he's going to be able to do something else. Um, no. You know what? Let me try to go back up on the roof. Now, I don't see the possibility of going to the left side. Uh, nothing. Oh, hole in the wall. Let's check it out. Something seems to be stuck inside the hole. All right. Can I My grab it? fingers are too big to... <laughs> All right, let's try Tina then. Yeah, something bit me. Ouch! Seriously, what was that? Did I even get something? I didn't. Hmm. Can I use the rotten sushi with that? Yeah. I don't want whatever's no. in there to crawl on my hand. Interesting. Can I maybe use the jar then? Guess I need some type of bait first. Ah, can I put this inside the jar? Let's see. Oh, there we go. So cool. apparently we are going to be able to combine things in this game, which is great. Uh, let me use this now with the hole. Got it. <laughs> did I just get myself a roach or something? Let's see. I, I did. Oh my god, we got ourselves a cockroach. Seriously? Now what am I supposed to do with it though? Just a deep hole in the wall. Looks like something is in there. Cool. Ah, oh, there we go. The ticket that we needed. How did this thing make its way here? Seriously? <laughs> that is so cool. I love it. All right. In that case, let me try to make my way to the shelter back again. I love it that if you also click on double clicking on the character, he's going to run. If you want to get to a different location faster, which is great. I love it. Absolutely great. Now, I don't think there's anything we got to do over here, if I'm not mistaken. So what I'm going to do next, I think I'm going to make my way back home. Hold up. Let's see what this button does, though. Ah, clear mission. This is showing the mission. Find the fly bus tickets. Well, we already did. Find the edible foods. Find the patch for shelter canopy. I mean, I think uh, all this rest of the stuff that we gotta find is gonna be able. We're gonna be able to find it uh, on different locations. So let me make my way to the left side here and try to use the ticket to go to a new location. All right. So let's go to the crossroads. Part one: Daily Survival. Look at this! Oh, are you kidding me? This game is looking gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, so we can interact with that. You know what? Let me chat with the cyber junkie though. We cannot chat with them though. We can only look at them. They trip in a miserable world similar to Neil Berlin, just with more flashing lights. Hmm. All right. Can I use a robot here to chat with these other robots? No. We can I interact with it? Interesting. Oh, hold up. There is a stick over here that we can grab. 
There we go. So elements we can uh, check out are going to stand out a little bit, I guess. So that is going to make it easier for you to uh, notice them. Hmm. I love it that there's a lot of Chinese going around, but uh, apparently we are in New Berlin here. It's really interesting. Uh, can I chat with Sam? Oh, we can. Yes, Tina. How old are you? I'm nine years old, like you. You should know that. It's 2062. And the 53 after my name is the year when I was produced. I was assigned to you at birth as a part of a government incentive program too. Okay, okay, I know. I remember your lullabies. I just wanted to be sure. Alright, that is awesome. So apparently we are the same age as a robot. Because he was assigned to us uh, when we got born. Interesting. Alright, you know what? Let me go inside the ramen shop first. Maybe we can get ourselves some food or at least get some information on how to get some food. Hey, look at this guy. Holy. Look at his hands. <laughs> the way he's chopping the fish, though. I love it. The animations in the game so far look really smooth. I love it. Uh, let me grab the chopsticks. Maybe we're gonna need it. There we go. Awesome. We got some chopsticks. Uh, other than this, I don't think... Oh, we got a Japanese lantern. Let's check it out. A bright Asian lantern. We also have a menu over here by the looks of it. It's selling Japanese food with a German touch. <laughs> Pretty German touch. What the heck? Um, hmm. I don't see anything else on the table here that we gotta grab. Let me try to chat with the chef. Excuse me. What do you want me to go? Don't you see I'm busy? Uh, who are you? How much fish do you have in the bucket? It looks bottomless. <laughs> you have any uh, free food or leftovers? Let's go with that, do yeah. you have any free food or leftovers for me? Does this look like a soup kitchen? I only serve paying customers. But I don't have any credits. Come back when you get some. It's a privilege to enjoy my fine cuisine. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm gonna need some money if I want some food, though. It's indeed such fine cuisine. I'm just sad that I can't try it. It's a pity indeed. Such aroma. Rich. Pungent. Oh, yes. It's just a tiny hint of your culinary genius. Indeed. It'd make me so happy to try even a tiny taste of it. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, she convinced hey, him. Oh, little god. Take this Bavarian marinated fish. There we go, we got a fishy. It's from yesterday, but it shouldn't kill you. <laughs> Thank you. It shouldn't kill you. We better go now. Good luck, little god. Alright, uh, did we actually finish the quest? Hmm, so we haven't really uh, finished the fine edible food. I'm guessing this is not edible. Uh, but maybe we can actually use this one with something. Hmm, I don't even know. I don't even know. Alright, let me make my way outside here then, because I'm pretty sure we are going to be able to use that fish somehow. Alright, uh, next up, let me make my way... Uh, vending machine. Hmm, I could try the vending machine to be sure. Let's see, let's check it out. Let's see what this does. It's selling some kind of weird device called Vintage Me. Vintage Me? I'm too weak. So we... I don't have any credits. Uh, let me try to use the bot to pull this. Maybe. Hey, something hmm. fell down. There we go. A vintage me. What is that? Vintage me device. Let's check it out. A vintage me device for those who like it retro. What? Oh no! Look at this. We found one out of ten uh, collectibles. And apparently, if you activate this one, we play the game pixelated. Are you kidding me right now? This is such an awesome filter. I had no idea they created this. Oh, man. I mean, I'm definitely not going to play this uh, like that. But if you guys want me to play one episode like this, let me know down in the comments below. But, man, this is crazy. I had no idea they did this. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. 
All right, well, we got that going. Uh, let me try to make my way to the electronic shop then. Man, this place looks awesome. I have a feeling this is going to be the best point-and-click adventure game of 2021. It's absolutely gorgeous, so... Um, let's see, what do we got here? So we got the retro computers. Uh, can we check it out? Before cyberspace, people used to play in code with those. Hmm. Alright, uh, we got the GPUs for crypto mining. Oh, look at that, seriously? Good for gaming and for making <laughs> money. Can I grab some? Those are not for free. Yeah, thought so. Maybe we're gonna need them. We also have some old RAM Lots around here, apparently. RAM banks. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, other than this, I see an old computer over here. Looks like a heavy keyboard. It has Amiga 500 written on it. Ooh, we got an, uh, a floppy disk, apparently. Ancient storage devices. I'm pretty sure I cannot grab it. Fine, you could get one for free. Oh, there we go. All right, so apparently we got uh, another floppy disk. At the moment, we have this one and a broken one as well. Interesting. All right, you know what? Let me chat with the clerk here for a second and see what he's going to say. Hello. Hi there. Dick Bates at your service. But aren't you too young for CPU overclocking or dynamic mobo modding? Uh... Looking for a Tesla PSU? Liquid state hyperdrives? Micro PCI ultra low profile? Uh... Nitrogen coolers? <laughs> Thunder Ethernet? Use SATA boosters? I guess it's better that Sam handles this dude. Ah, I love it. So just as I thought, apparently we got to use different characters in order to chat with different uh, characters as well in the world. Because, of course, the robot is going to know more than the girl knows. So let me go ahead and chat with them. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Model Sam? Release year 2053. Cat C patent 18. Need a quantum cooling system? Cleaning your Amos vision sensors? I'm Dick Bates, and I'm here to help you. Hmm. Uh, I don't know why, but it sounds familiar. Does it? It doesn't ring a bell on my end, but look at his t-shirt. Look behind you. This is a huge reference for Monkey Island, uh, the three-headed monkey. Oh my god, I love it. I love that all point-and-click adventure games coming out. They're all taking huge inspiration from Monkey Island because, in my opinion, that is the best point-and-click adventure game has ever been created. Uh, let's see here. Is talking like this good for your business? Uh, I'm searching for a can of robot oil. Uh, let me go with the first Dick one, actually. Bates. I don't know why, but it sounds familiar. Not as familiar as Darude Sandstorm, I bet. What? Oh, forget it. Anything I can do for you? An expansion of your AGP slot? A heat sink upgrade? Uh, let's go with... Is talking like this good for your business? Is talking like this good for your business? Oh, yes! My typical customers love acronyms, difficult words, and light-emitting diodes everywhere. By the way, you should get some to install around your body. No, thank you. <laughs> I don't want to look like a Christmas tree. What can I do for you, then? An update on your firmware? A turbo ALU tuning? Hmm. Uh, I'm searching for a can of robot oil. Let's go with that. I'm searching for a can of robot oil. Oh, I don't sell this here. There may be some at a bot dispenser nearby. Unfortunately, that dispenser is only for street cleaner robots, not your kind. Oh, too bad. I need to keep looking then. Something else? A new control bus or ROM implants? I'm getting a headache. Better if I go. All right. See you around. Hmm. So this guy doesn't really have what I need, unfortunately. Although, I still feel I need some more stuff around here. Obsolete gaming and coding devices. Obsolete gaming and coding devices. An old Amiga 500. Awesome machine. Now, let me try to grab one of those uh, GPUs, but I'm pretty sure he's not going to allow me to. Those are not yeah, what about the RAM? All right. I've got a bunch oh. of these. You could take one. Oh, there we go. We got ourselves a RAM. Awesome. Again, I don't know if I'm going to eat it or not, but uh, at least we got it, which is great. And I feel like that's about it. All right, let's keep on going. So, we got that going. Um, right alley. 
I mean, that looks the o that looks like the only place we can go right now. So let me go this way. See what else we can find. Did I just hear somebody screaming around here? I don't even know. Whoa, look at this place. Cyber Junkie. Another cyberspace addict. Mr. Rump is exploiting virtual reality to control the population. Man, everybody seems to be uh using VR here. Let's check uh, the signpost here. A VR headset shop closed. Hmm. Ah, it's closed. Alright, let me go ahead and grab the capacitor then because I just noticed something on the floor. There we go, perfect. So we got that going. Um, hmm. What's with the 300 number down here though? I have no idea what that's resembling. Interesting. Uh, let's see, anything else around here? So we do have a bot dispenser. Let's check it out, let's see what this is all about. A very useful dispenser of robot components. Not for my kind though. Not for my kind. Only street sweeper robots can access it. Ah, interesting. What if the uh, kid tries it? Let's see. What if Tina tries to access it? It's only for robots. Aha. Uh -huh. So maybe somehow I gotta get a street dispenser robot to give me some oil from that. Hmm. All right. Let me keep on going then. Let me make my way towards um maybe. It's too far here? away. I need a better reason to go over there. Oh, Z Square. Wait, what? Why it's did you want to go there? Away. What if I try with the robot? It's far. I... Hmm. Interesting. So somehow I gotta grab this, but I don't know how to do it. Uh, let's see. The capacitor. Mm, can we combine some stuff right here, though? I don't think so. The rusty wrench, small pipe. Interesting. So we need. So we still need to find the uh, the edible foods, the patch for the shelter canopy, find the robot oil, and find a pair of socks. I feel like at the moment we cannot really do much around here. So let me try something else. Uh, let me try to uh, keep on running a little bit, and try to use the bus to go to a new location. I feel like we need more stuff if I want to keep on going on the adventure here. Oh, wait, what? Ah. One side advertises a new kind of trendy hat. The other side, a synthetic fish meal. <laughs> Interesting. I, I thought that this is going to take me straight to the bus, straight to the map of the world. Um, Let's see here. So we got a trash bin. Can we look through the trash? Seems like no one is really using it. Hey. There's a rusty cyber cola can in here. We're getting so much stuff in the game, though. <laughs> mm, nothing, nothing of interest. All right, uh, we got the ticket machine, but we already have a ticket, so I don't think I need this anymore. You give it credits, it gives you flight. All right, never mind. We already have that. Look at the robot. That is awesome. Uh, we do have a robot over here, a nasty robot actually, and a route. Let's check this out. The flybus routes. What about it's the timetable? The flybus timetable. Looks like time is frozen in Neo Berlin. Hmm. Why is that? Uh, the console that seems to be out of order. Let's check it out. It's a console for copying data from robots, but it's out of order at the moment. I can't use it. It's out of order. All right, it's out of order. Uh, in that case, let me chat with the nasty robot. I don't like his face. He looks nasty. <laughs> Hello there. Oh god. Um, yeah, I think Sam is gonna have to talk with him because he doesn't understand us. Doesn't Actually, I'm not gonna understand anything. him. Alright, let me use Sam then to chat with him. Howdy, pal. How are you? Do we know each other? Am I your cousin? Mm. <laughs> no. So leave me alone and keep that disgusting human away from me. You truly are a nasty robot. What? 
if I move the cursor above you, it says nasty robots. If I move the cursor above you, <laughs> oh my god, I love it. So what? The I'm humor sorry in the game is so good. This way. I'm sorry they programmed you to be with that human all your life. Uh, she's actually pretty cool. She's actually pretty cool. A human? Cool? <laughs> you must have a faulty positron in your brain. Hmm. I actually like my job. Oh. I actually like my job. Sure, if you say so. I can't understand how you could like humans. I'm just waiting for the robot revolution to exterminate all this pinkish organic waste. Hmm. Better than to be lonely. Better than to be a lonely pile of junk steel. Hey, watch your mouth. I'm a successful street sweeper. It must be very exciting collecting trash all day. Isn't that what you and your human do all day? Um... Aha, I knew it! Whatever, I don't have time to waste. Wait, this guy is a successful street sweeper. And if I'm not mistaken, he's the only one that they can access that co that console uh, on the bright alley, right? If I'm not mistaken. And I'm pretty sure we need to get him to do that maybe because we do need some oil from that. Hmm. What? Uh, what are you doing here? I need the robot oil. Uh, let me go with what you're doing here what first. What are you doing here? You mean besides making fun of clumsy family robots? Yes. Well, I can't go anywhere. My RAM is faulty and I need a new one so that I can go back to my street cleaning job. Why don't you go get one? Because I'm stuck here. Without RAM, I can't calculate how to move around this dirty city. I barely have enough capacity to insult fat nanny <laughs> robots. I'm not fat. I'm just big bone. Sure, sure. Everybody says so. Okay. I've had enough. Goodbye. You know what? I have a feeling we gotta help this guy out by giving him the ramp because we do have one ramp piece. Uh, let me chat with him again because I do want to get the what? oil from him. Uh, I need oil. I need robot oil. Do you know where I can find some? Uh, I usually get mine from a bot dispenser not far from here. Where is it? It's in an alley after the crossroad, but it's for street sweeper robots only. It won't dispense anything to nanny robots. I see. And I guess you won't help me. No way! Besides, I can't go anywhere. My RAM is faulty. Hmm. Can you help us if I give you some RAM? Yeah, let's go with that. Can you help us if I give you some RAM? If it doesn't involve changing diapers of stinky humans. <laughs> I just need a can of robot oil. All right, give me the ram. Here. Oh, there we go. Hopefully hey, he's going to help us, though. This ram is 288 pins. My socket is 184. Mm. You clumsy nanny bot. I was sure your model uses the 288 one. No, oh, I'm rigged. Anyway, I can't do much with this. I need an adapter. Okay. I'll see if I can find a 288 to 184 pins RAM adapter. All right, see you later, Mr. Never Skips Legs Day. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So apparently, we do need an adapter for him. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to be able to find that. This is a capacitor. This is not what I need. So how do I find an adapter? Man, this adventure is going to be awesome, though. I am having a lot of fun with this one. And so far, the game is not only moving really smoothly, but uh, the story and the way the characters interact with the world, it's really, really good. Really, really good indeed. Alright, you know what? I feel like I need to make my way to uh, the electronic shop to see if I can find an adapter. Alright, let me uh, actually use the robot again to chat with this fella and ask him about an adapter. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Model Sam? Release year 2053, Cat C Patent 18. Uh, do you have an adapter? Yeah, do look at that. Do you have a 288 to 184 pins RAM adapter? No, sorry, I'm out of stock. A hmm. friend of mine always buys tons of those. Interesting. Who's your friend, though? Let's ask about that, yeah. Excuse me. What can... Uh, um... Oh, so he's not gonna ask about that. You have a two no, sorry, I'm. Who's his friend, though? Uh, Dick Bates. Can I find out who his friend is? I don't think I can. So apparently, a friend of his is always buying all those adapters. Now I'm wondering. 
What friends? You know what? Let me make my way outside. Let me chat with Tina here for a second. Uh, maybe we can come up with something. Tina? Yes, Sam? Are you feeling all right? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Hmm. So that's not working. Interesting. Interesting indeed. You know what? Let me try to go to the ramen shop. I don't know. Maybe this guy is the one that's buying the uh, adapters. Chat? Hello there. Hello, big robot. What can I do for you? Uh, what is this place? Yeah, let's go with that. What is this place? Per my database, it looks like a ramen ye circa 1978. Indeed. It's the ramen shop of Chef Hayao, which would be me. Painstakingly designed to replicate 20th century aesthetics. Of course, it's all plastic. But who can afford wood these days? Anyway, it looks good, doesn't it? I've seen better. Ah, <laughs> you robots. You have no taste. Anything else? Uh, they have something I can uh, consume. Let's go with that. Do you have something that I can consume? No, I'm sorry. I only cook food for humans. The best of Japanese tradition mixed with good old Teutonic flavor. You mean bratwurst dipped in soy sauce? You see? I knew my recipes were famous all around the world. Anything else? Uh, can I have some food? Can I have some food for this little girl? What would you like? Uh, the ponzo pretzel, potato with miso rice. Oh, I don't even know. Let's go with pork. Pork knuckle sushi. It's 23 credits. Ah, uh, dang it. I don't have any. Then come back later. Hmm. Can I have some... What would you... And what about the potato? Potatoes. It's not... Nine credits. Then come back later. Uh, what about the first Can one I then? Let's some... try that. What would you... Uh, the ponzu pretzel. The ponzu pretzel. It's 60. I don't mm. have any. Come back. All right, so I'm not going to be able to grab anything from him, of course. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh, it doesn't like we need anything else from around here. So let me try to get out of this place. All right, next up. You know what? Let me try to take the uh, longer path. Um, let me see if I can actually go through the left side here. The long, the long roads. Oh, we can. There we go. All right. Maybe we can find some more stuff around here. I was kind of getting a little bit stuck there, but thankfully, we can keep on going. Do we have anything up here, though? Can I go up there? It doesn't look like it. No. All right. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on looking around. So we do have a, an elevator panel by the looks of it. Hmm. Was that the bus? Oh, look at this. We got a kid here. Let's chat with them. He looks very dirty. Hi there. Hey, kid. What's up? Uh, me a kid? How old are you? <laughs> me? A kid? How old are you? And what's your name? Mine is Tina. I'm a Tomo, and I'm 11 years old. I'm older than you are, for sure. Well, you're still a kid. And we're almost the same age. I'll be 10 in a few months. Come back when you start your second decade, then. I don't have time to waste with kids. <laughs> oh, man. Are you serious? Come on, buddy. What are you doing here all alone? Where are your parents? Where's your robot? Oh, you have so many questions, kid. But you're lucky I'm not very busy. So, first of all, I'm just resting. I had a pretty tough night of scavenging. I don't have a father. My mother gave birth to me through artificial insemination. But she abandoned me when I was very little. My model Sam took care of me until last year, when he was shot down by the cops during a chase. Now I'm on my own, and I quite like it this way. Wow, that's a truly harsh story. Mine is very similar, but luckily, I still have my Sam. We should team up. Nah, I feel good alone. Now let me be, kid. I don't want the police to notice us. All right, buddy. I'm not gonna bother you then. Um, hmm. I do want, I do want to chat with him some more though. Hi Maybe there. I can get some information hey, out of him. What's up? I think I should go. See ya. All right. Let's try to chat with him with the robot then. Maybe the robot can get more information out of him. Hi there. What are you doing here all alone? You will get a cold. Sorry, Model Sam. I'd prefer not to talk with you. You remind me of my robot, which I lost last year. It makes me sad. 
Oops, I'm sorry. I'll let you be then. Bye. Aw, oh, man. Hmm. I feel like I may need to give him something in order to get him to chat with me, to chat with me, right? Um. What should I give him, though? I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know what should work with them. So, in that case, uh, let me see. Can I actually go, keep on going to the left side here? Yes, we can. Huh. Old gates. Hold up, before I go there, though, let me check this thing for a second, the elevator. It controls the elevator, but I need a token to make it work. A token? I need a token. What is a token? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't have that, so let me keep on going this way, then. I don't really know what a token looks like, so that uh, that being said, I'm definitely going to have to keep on exploring a little bit. So we do have a diner over here by the looks of it. Renzo's Italian synthetic food. Hmm. Can I go back in the alley of the diner? Maybe we can find some throne. Oh, God. Oh, look at that. There's a kitty. The problem is, Electrified Puddle, I'm not going to be able to crawl through here if I don't want to die. It's very dangerous to step in it. Yeah. Both for me and for Tina. Yep. We might get, uh... Shocked. And a shock for a robot means that it might actually kill them. It might actually mean that it might fry his uh, wires. This wire is going into the water. Electrifying the puddle. Interesting. So somehow I gotta figure out how to get this puddle uh, to not be electrified anymore, but I don't exactly know how to do this. Hold up, let's see, what do we got here? Can I use the chopsticks with the wire? Wrong. <laughs> what about the stick? Not the right action. Not the right action. Can I use the antenna Wrong with it? Decision. Can I combine these Good two idea, together? But I better have oh. my inventory something with which to join them. Ah, so apparently I may be able to combine the antenna with the stick, but I may need maybe something to stick them together. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. I have a feeling this fish, the marinated fish, is going to be for the kitty, but I got to find a way to get there first. All right, I believe uh, we may actually have to make our way inside the diner if I want to figure out how to stop the electricity. So let me make my way inside then. Hmm, look at this. This looks awesome. Uh, singer sign. Let's check it out. Tonight, Maisie's stunning performance. Hmm, interesting. Uh, what about the leftovers? Can I grab some? Nothing left there. Oh, hold up, I just saw the tape, and I have a feeling this is what I need in order to combine those two, uh... Yeah, those two sticks together. You know what? Let me try to do it right now. Why not? So, what if I try to combine this one with this Let's one? See. Oh, there we go. We've done it. Cool. I love it. All right, so we got a long stick. A very long stick. I'm not even sure how it fits in my pockets. <laughs> uh, I love it. All right, so we managed to combine something from my inventory. Again, I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm supposed to do with it, but uh, let me look at the cylindrical sort of stage. stage. I wonder how it works. Oh, I'm guessing this is where the singer is going to sing. Hmm. Now, it doesn't look like we can't do anything in the diner. It looks like the diner is kind of closed, though, which is weird. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can't do anything right here. So, I'm guessing uh, all we had to do here was to actually come in so that we can grab the, the, uh, the tape like and make the stick. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, now that we got the stick, let me make my way back in the alleyway. Uh, I want to try to use this stick with those wires. Maybe we can actually move them. Let's just see if this works. So if I go in the inventory, grab the long stick and use it with the wires. Wrong choice. Wrong choice. Interesting. Maybe we need some rubber gloves or something. Because we all know that rubber is the perfect thing to use uh, when you're trying not to get shocked by something. Oh, maybe the electrician can do something about that. And uh, once he fixes the electricity, or maybe we can destroy the electricity. Let me have a chat with him. Hello? Yes. 
Uh, what are you doing over there? What are you doing over there? I'm enjoying the view of the Brandenburg Gate. I never understood why it's so big. Were there giants in ancient times? Yeah, everybody was six meters tall. Now leave me alone. I'm busy. <laughs> Seriously, what are you doing besides making fun of me? I'm Blixie, a city electrician, fixing the screens of this streetlight so they can show Mr. Ruff propaganda. Ugh. I hope they pay you well. Not really. I can't complain. Hmm. I thought that city maintenance was a task for robots? I thought that city maintenance was a task for robot workers. It usually is, but not if it involves electricity. Robots can go totally nuts if they get electrocuted, so it's better to rely on humans for these kinds of jobs. I see. Nothing. I should go. Bye. Huh. Yeah, I have a feeling I gotta mess the electricity somehow, though. You know what? Let me try to use the bot here to chat with him. Good afternoon. I'm pretty busy. What do you want, robot? Uh, I see you're fixing the screens. I see you are fixing these screens. Have you tried inverting the diode's polarity? Hey, smarty pants, are you trying to teach me how to do my <laughs> job? Uh, no, I just wanted to help. I need no help. Mm hmm. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't have you any have robot, robot oil, oil though. To give me? No, I do city maintenance. It is not my duty to fix robots. You should broaden your work responsibilities. Ah, I suppose you're not an hourly employee in a New Berlin pilot program to restore people's existential meaning through labor. What I do is already depressing me into Marxist existentialism. I don't need to broaden my duties. I guess I'll look for the oil somewhere else. See ya. Mm, so this guy is not going to be really helpful, but I do see some keys, though, hanging on his pocket here. And I have a strong feeling I may need those keys. Uh, you know what? What if I try I to interact with them? From public workers. Uh, so that's exactly what I need. Uh, well, she can. It's too she cannot far. reach it. Uh, what if I use the stick that we just created? Is that going to work? Hold up. Use the stick with that. There we go. I knew it. We got hey. the keys. Ah, <laughs> uh, electrician keys. Those keys must open something electrical related. That is awesome. And I have a feeling we may be able to use this in order to maybe stop the electricity behind the diner here at the diner's alley. But anyway, guys, I think this is where we're going to have to end up the first episode of Encodia. And if you guys enjoyed this and want to see more, make sure to smash on the like button down below. Because I'm definitely going to keep on playing this game. I am really, really enjoying Encodia so far. This is exactly the type of point-and-click adventure games that I'm really, really in love with. And I'm definitely going to create a series out of this one because I'm really, really enjoying this game so far. And I hope that you guys are enjoying it as well. And if you guys want to grab this game for yourselves, there is going to be a link down in the description so you can go ahead and grab it. And if you guys are new here and have subscribed yet, do consider doing that as I'm posting many more videos just like this one every single day. And also, if you guys want to become members just like these awesome guys right here, make sure you check the join button next to the subscribe one. That being said, stay safe out there, guys. And I'll see you all in the next one coming up really soon. Bye, everybody.